Mom, what dance my flex to the Asha? Good morning, happy, happy Sunday. Y'all, I just braided my hair in these feed-in braids for the very, very first time. And I am absolutely loving them. Like, why ain't nobody tell me that these are so fun and easy to do? Like, this is what it's giving in the back. I did, like, button length, and then I curled the bottom and kind of crimped it. And it is very much giving, very much giving somebody's rich auntie, you guys, y'all. Am I giving rich bitch? Rich bitch, okay. So these are the Louis Vuitton dupes and I think they're so cute. I really like them on my face. Like it makes me want a real pair. But y'all, I'm starting this new series on my channel. So this is kind of behind the scenes on how I'm creating this new series. Y'all should have got a sneak peek of it on Sunday. So hopefully you guys kind of like it and kind of can see where I'm trying to go with this new series. But it'll be like a full episodes of it starting in January, my birthday month, girl. Yeah, so they say, the millionaires say in these millionaire books that you can be anybody that you want to be. So I'm activating somebody's rich auntie, okay? So <laughs> that is what the vibe is giving the series is called My Fabricated Life, um, hence the word fabricated because some of this stuff is going to be very much fabricated. Uh, and y'all just going to have to watch the series to kind of really see and watch the behind the scenes to really get like what it is that I'm trying to do. But for the most part, I am manifesting the life I want on camera so it's like my video diary of me manifesting somebody's rich auntie period <laughs> so this is a part of my character because i'm gonna have to be a hope it's, it's like it's giving character vibes okay so i mean i want to be in a louis vuitton glasses so we're gonna rock the dudes okay period but i got these scarves y'all because I thought I was going to have like this cute outfit that I was going to rock with this. But this is giving very much flight attendant. Like I feel like I just need to wrap this around my neck. Go pass out some peanuts on the plane. And be a flight attendant. Because I mean without the glasses. But this is giving very much. How can I help you ma'am on the flight? Period. But y'all I'm so excited for this series so i got a lot of things to kind of start off the series and i'm very very much excited let me show y'all this other thing i got oh it's so cute so anyway y'all i got this cute cuban link off of aliexpress and it is so cute so cute like i absolutely love it like when i put my outfit on together with this baby baby she's gonna be cute i freaking love it y'all i'm gonna have to stock up on a few of these i think this one was like three dollars i'm gonna have to st stock up so i can keep up with my character because when it get faded we need another one in rotation y'all i'm so funny like i'm some I, I i crack myself up like i genuinely crack myself up but yeah I have to plan my outfit for next week and then I need to plan the storyline and that is kind of like what I'm in the midst of doing this week is like really creating like the storyline that I want to show y'all as like a teaser or a trailer because I want it to be like juicy I want it to be exciting and I want you guys to really really enjoy the new content that I'm putting out and be creative like I've always wanted to be creative with my content and I feel like this just gives me an opportunity to be a little bit more creative with my content and kind of just do something a little bit different 
so yeah i don't really know the outfit that i want uh why am i trying to turn on the light because i am not in my office or i'm not in my room um y'all it's just like this character because i mean i feel weird seeing like this character because it's literally my life that i'm trying to create but right now i feel like it's giving character vibes and it's not me so i'm just gonna say this character but this character is gonna be so extra aisha was like girl this is you already so it's not really extra but y'all i bought so many different phone cases just to like match my nails and keep up with like y'all this is this character is she extra okay well i am extra if i had money y'all i would be extra extra so anyway <laughs> yeah i bought so many phone cases and i want to do a red set because i bought this red phone case this one is very basic because i want my nails to be so blingy and so oh my gosh y'all i went and bought some more rhinestones for my nails just got these rhinestones right here these are like the jumbo rhinestones they're so cute oh my gosh and then aisha bought me these off of amazon with our fetch reward points these were like 30 dollars this one i got from shein was like 36 dollars and then i have a bunch of rhinestones like this with the just different colors so i got a red this gold one a blue one a pink one i have so many rhinestones you guys at this point these are my more like chunkier like cute stylish ones y'all I'm about to be so extra like i'm about to be so extra this character is gonna be extra she's gonna be fun she's gonna be vibrant like we about to have fun like i'm so y'all have no idea i'm so excited a lot of this i'm gonna have to like step outside of my bubble because i really feel like i'm an intro well a lot of people say i'm an introvert extrovert so I really feel like I'm very introverted, but I can, I do have some extrovert tendencies, but when I'm in a crowd of people, I'm like more introverted and I want to get outside of my bubble for when, when I'm in a crowd of people, I can be an extrovert. I'm only an extrovert when I'm around people that I know and I'm comfortable with. Like I can be like myself and like be very talkative, but if, if I'm in a crowd of people, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be to myself. And I don't want to do that. I want to be like the life of the party always. So I want her to be a vibe. Okay. That is going to be the character. A vibe. Always. 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 Period. No. Let me stop. I don't know what she going to be. But that's what we're doing, y'all. So I'm about to create the scene that I want for next week. I know I want to do, like I said, this red. Um... This red phone case. I don't really know the outfit that I want to wear yet. But y'all know I got this camera. This is the purse. Y'all, it's giving like... I got this from Burlington. And it's giving knockoff St. Laurent bag vibes. It's so cute. So this is going to be the bag with that phone case and the pop of red on my nose. And I just kind of want to do like a simple outfit because the red is already going to be doing too much but i know these two are definitely the go and then i want to i'm oh you know what i just thought about i don't know but my camera um so for the planning i want to plan out my little skits and then the outfits that I have in mind, I want to take a picture of it and kind of post, like, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I want to do. Let me, um, let me eat my little bowl. I bought this bowl because I'm trying to, I bought, I bought this bowl because y'all know I'm on my healthy shit. So I bought this bowl because I went to the gym this morning and I didn't want to eat nothing bad because I'm about to, tonight is going to be 
a bad eating night so i wanted to eat something slightly healthy right now so i'm about to eat this bowl i feel like i'm all over the place y'all i feel like i'm all over the place let me let me let me get my life and i'll be back uh, okay y'all so we just came back from the dollar store i did not find the boxes that i still wanted uh but i did find the some cards I'm not going to show y'all the stuff that, like, I want to leave some stuff for the actual um, video so y'all can watch it. I want to, well, I guess, I guess technically y'all see this after, so it's not a spoiler alert. What am I talking about? So, I don't know where the cards are. The cards that I got. Thank you, baby. Y'all, so... I like this card. This one was cute. It's really sentimental. Uh, but I didn't like it. It's not cute enough for me. And then Aisha was like, well, what about this card? And I was like, this is not giving what it's supposed to give. It just literally says Merry Christmas. But when I opened it, it had placed money or gift card here. And I was like, oh, babe, yeah, this, you know the vibe. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to put some money in this card. Because Bay is Bay is sending me money. Okay, she gonna be like, I don't know what I want the card to say yet. So y'all would have had to watch, watch it to see. And I was like upset about the gift boxes because they were giving Christmas. But now that I thought about it, I'm like, oh well, I'm giving y'all a sneak peek before Christmas, so it kind of works for the theme. So I'm gonna just not even overthink it and make it do what it do. But y'all, this hookah. It's hitting. So good. But I'm about to create the first scene right here. I'm about to write write out what it is that I want this video to be about. So I'm about to just kind of do like an outline right here. So that's what I'm about to be working on as I smoke this hookah. Watch baby play her game. And sip on this expensive ass wine we got y'all. This is like my first like adult wine, I wanna say. Champagne. Oh, it's a champagne, my bad. Let me let me let me get it right. Get it right, get it tight. This is my first adult champagne. And it's not that bad. Like it's brute. It's not sweet. Is it sweet? It's a tad bit sweet, but it's not as sweet. But it's it was giving rich bitch, so I got it, okay? We is in our somebody's rich auntie era okay if it's giving rich luxury i'm buying it that is that is what we're on for all 2023 period but y'all let me stop being so ratchet i'm supposed to be in my rich somewhat okay i want to be in my somebody's rich auntie soft girl era life like that's that's the vibe we soft girl ratchet and rich bitch can that is that even a thing Is that even a thing? Anyway, y'all, let me get my ass off this camera and write this outline out real quick and then start cooking dinner because we're doing a movie night. It's Sunday movie night. We haven't done it in so many weeks. Aisha's sister is actually coming over to spend time with us. I'm so excited because we haven't seen her in a while. So I'm cooking us a nice little, a nice little fatty sofa dinner. And then we're going to have a movie night with everybody. And we're just about to enjoy this Sunday and get ready for work tomorrow. Because we got to work out, okay? Because that is part of being in our somebody's rich auntie era, okay? We need to be healthy. So. I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm, like, so geeked about this, like, this, this new journey. Like, I'm so geeked. Like, I could see it. I could, I, could, I could see it. I could be somebody's rich auntie, right? <laughs> yeah, if y'all can see Aisha's face when I be talking, it's, it's priceless. It's, it's, it's priceless. But, y'all, I'll see y'all later.
is my banana. Wait, it's not a banana bread. I don't know what bread it was. It was graham cracker. I don't know. It's giving very much fall. This bread took an hour to make, but nonetheless, it's there. And then I made, ooh, some Spanish rice. The pork chops back there. The macaroni, it looking real dry on camera. I promise she's giving moist, okay? So I'm about to make our plates and then we're about to eat and then we're gonna watch the movie. I saw the Minions and I low-key wanna watch the Minions, but Keontae just asked if it had to be Christmas cause he was like, let's watch the Thor movie. I wanna watch the Minions. So that's probably what we're gonna watch, the Minions. But anyway, y'all, uh, I kind of like wrote the first scene. No, I wrote the first script for the first episode. So I'm so excited about that. It took a lot of work and I'm like, oh my gosh, but I did it. So that is done. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see y'all tomorrow because I got an early morning. We're getting up early, going to the gym, just doing the things that we got to do. Okay. And it's Monday, we gotta go back to work. So, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Girl, we had a time last night. Okay, where is that from, y'all? Like, where is that from? Because I keep hearing it, and I'm like, I know that's from somewhere, I just don't know where. But anyway, happy Monday. Your girl did not get up to do anything that she wanted to do this morning. I didn't get up and go to the gym. I got up like I usually do, same badass habits, like rolled out of bed, got dressed, and went on my merry way. Like, I just, I just couldn't do it. Like, I was so tired this morning, like beyond tired. I barely wanted to get the kids up ready for school. So, today was a fail. Like, it really was a fail, but I, I still got afternoon to go to the gym. The good thing about going to the gym is that it doesn't have to be in the morning. You can still go in the, in the afternoon. It's just that I want to have morning habits and not afternoon habits. So, yeah, but I just came home and made me that egg sandwich. I was craving that all freaking weekend, and it was not even hitting the way I wanted it to hit. Like, it all scraped the inside of my mouth, like girl but anyway i just kind of wanted to tell y'all i failed y'all i failed i did not do what i wanted to do or was supposed to do so i'm gonna try to have a good little workout when i get off of work and we'll try again tomorrow but i'm about to get home or not get home i'm about to get, head back to work i'm about to call aisha for the rest of my drive and i will see y'all once i get off of work and Hopefully, and hopefully we can crush a workout. We need a workout, a good, good, good workout. Okay. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Tuesday. Y'all, I want it to be Wednesday so bad, like so bad, but it's not, it's Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday, yes. <laughs> Y'all, I did not go to the gym, like the gym gym. Like I wanted to, I end up doing like a little workout in the condo, but it's not, that workout don't give me what I want to do. I want to be like lifting weights, not just like cardio, but I just need to be grateful. I just need to give myself a little bit of grace because at least I went and did something, right? So I just need to understand that maybe the afternoons are gonna work best for my life and not the mornings y'all i literally need to leave the house in four minutes and i'm just now doing an eyebrow like what are we doing <laughs> what are we doing okay y'all i am doing way too much okay but y'all so i think i'm gonna change up the first episode just a little bit if you don't know well so y'all know the purpose of these episodes is creating the life that i ultimately want like this is just not for the purpose of content this is like literally just creating the life that i want on camera man like i'm manifesting my life on camera but creating content just doing it in a creative way that is all 
and on this series i want to be i'm gonna be a fiance okay eventually a wife because i think i'm starting to be in the head space of just really wanting to well i can't say that i'm starting to be in this head space i i think just the fact that me and aisha took this time away and kind of like socializing and mingling with other people it just really made me realize that These people ain't shit out here. <laughs> and, it's, and they ain't shit. And not saying that I needed to talk to other people to realize what I had. But it's like, it's almost, it's just worth fighting to deal with, you know, the person. What am I trying to say? It's, um, it's worth fighting for what I already have versus just starting completely over because i would genuinely think if i was to officially be single single i would just be single like i would not be in a relationship with anybody because what i need and what i want from people i really don't think i would be able to get it um and i'm not even gonna go into details on like what that is but and i'm a hard person to deal with like i am not easy and I just don't got time for somebody trying to relearn me and meet like learn all of my little habits and my ways like ain't nobody got time and Aisha is willing to deal with my mean ass so it don't get no better than that okay anyway with that being said I feel like I need to change the episode just a little bit because I need to make it I don't know where she's at in the house but I need to make That would just be a cute little episode. Y'all, y'all should already saw how that played out. But I'm thinking that is going to be the change in the episode. And then I can move forward with the other episodes. So, I also, so, again, y'all, I'm manifesting the life that I want on camera. I feel like I'm going to have to keep saying that, but that is what we're doing. We're manifesting the life we want on camera, and um, we're just pushing ourselves to do goals that we normally wouldn't have done. So, I've been wanting to write a book for a long time <laughs> like a long long time and I think I mentioned it before in my podcast once like once when I was telling you guys when I started doing the podcast that I've always wanted to write a book but I don't feel like I'm a good enough writer to write a book so I never felt like I was good enough to write a book so that's why I resorted to doing a podcast because I mean you ain't gotta be the best but I've realized and I've been told that you don't have to be a good writer. That's why they have people who you, that's why they have people out here who check your grammar. That's why they have public, I don't know what, that's what, that's what we're going to be learning. But that's why they have all these things in place. So you can still be the best version of you without being the best version of you. There's people here to help you. You know, so I was like, you know what? I really want to write a book. I've been wanting to write a book for quite some time. And we're going to create this series to be the number one selling author. Like, we're going to be a bestseller. So we're going to speak as if we're already a bestseller. Although we're creating our very, very first book. But in the series, it's going to be as if I've already done this before. And, you know, I'm just an author. And this is what your girl do. This is what I do on top of being a content creator. I'm a book writer and I create content and I'm just that girl. I'm on my shit, period. <laughs> that is what it is. That is what it is. It is. Y'all, I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm getting my life together, like in real life. Like, not only about creating different content, but I'm legit getting my life together. Like, 
I'm excited to be the best version of myself and really improve. It sucks that it has to. It, we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. It don't matter how we getting it done. We getting it done. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and finish doing this makeup because I just wanted to give y'all that brief little update on, you know, what we're changing and something else that we're kind of doing with the content. And I am so excited. So excited. Baby, we are out of the house. Okay, we are at the house, y'all. It is 8.30 and I need to be to work at 8.30. So we are not doing good on time. And your girl is going to be with a new manager starting next week. And y'all, this manager is a hard ass. So I need to get my ish together, okay? Like ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> but y'all, I can talk to y'all freely now that I'm out the house. So y'all, a couple months ago, I told y'all the whole little situation with me and Aisha that we together, but we not together. And we was like, literally like just working on ourselves and y'all just heard me in the previous clip so now i feel like it's time to just kind of recommit because it's like almost been a year since we've been working on ourselves and kind of single and i feel like it's real childish to just keep doing things as if you're a couple but not having the title like that's that's real childish so it's either I'm going to recommit or we need to let it go. And at this point, I feel like a recommitment is definitely worth it. So I want to plan something cute to ask her to be my girlfriend because I want to be a fiance in my series. And I can't be having a whole fiance in my series when I don't even have a girlfriend. So got to back it up a little bit. And ask like you should be my girlfriend so I can manifest a fiance, okay? Like, make it make sense. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out something totally different as to what I was doing and what I had planned. I was dreaming about it last night, which is crazy, but I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do. I just gotta buy all this stuff to make it happen. So. That is what we're going to be doing over the next few days. And it's kind of going to work perfectly because Aisha works um, nights. So, yeah. And I got to do my nails. And then I have to do a new intro. Like, we need a new intro because this intro is the intro that I'm going to be using for next year. Because I need a nice, nice intro. So, I don't even know when y'all going to see this episode. I thought it was going to be... Like this coming up Sunday, but I think it's gonna be like a few weeks before y'all see this. Probably like after Thanksgiving, maybe even push in December, and then I'll be back in January with all the new content. But y'all gotta let me know like how y'all think the first episode was, the teaser. Did you guys enjoy it? Do you guys think it's gonna be a good series? Like, y'all really, really gotta let me know. I really want y'all input on this. So I can know if I need to keep wasting my freaking money, okay? But anyway, I'm about to head to work. I will talk to y'all probably tomorrow, to be completely honest. Um, or the next time I pick up this camera, we'll be out buying the stuff for the, the series or something. I don't know, but nonetheless, y'all, I'll talk to y'all some days. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Wednesday. So, your girl woke up in a very pissy mood. Like, I woke up upset. <laughs> like, I am so mad right now. And I'm trying to get myself up out of this funk. But, I don't know why I keep setting myself up for the same repeated shit. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying. But anyway... We're about to go grab us some coffee. I didn't even make coffee this morning. I woke up. I woke up. Like, I'm going to be super early for work, but I woke up technically late because I didn't do my makeup. I didn't do anything. I look real cute, though. So, I have time to go get me some coffee. I'm thinking about going to stop by. Stop by and go grab me some Einstein bagel. Just treat myself to something nice this morning because your girl is upset. Like... 
I am so upset. Like, I want to cry. Like, that's how upset I am. Like, I feel very emotional, should I say. Not even really, well, I am mad. But I'm also very emotional as well. But it's okay, we'll get through it. But anyway, I would say on a more brighter note, but this is not even a brighter note. So I think I was telling you guys yesterday that I want to look for a publisher so I can ultimately publish my first book or write my first book. I guess I can still write the book without publishing the book. But nonetheless, I reached out to a publisher yesterday. I'm trying to turn off this damn air. I reached out to a publisher yesterday just to kind of get a little bit more information because I mean I don't have experience writing a book I don't even know where to go so I reached out to this company yesterday well I reached out to them a week ago and I finally had the time to talk to them yesterday in regards to the book and I was I was turned off like she asked me what kind of genre I wanted to write because on the thing I put other and I told her it's urban fiction. And she was like, well, what's that? Is that like an urban legend? And then I think she said something else which was completely off of urban. And I was so upset. <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, you know what? I'll just have to call you back. Cause I had to like, think about what I wanted to say without being mean. And then I just, in her nice email and just told her I don't think I'm going to be a great fit for your company thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure speaking to you and then she sends me this long email back like you didn't even talk to me like how do you know we're not a good fit for your like for you you don't know how we're going to market you and promote your book and I'm like how can you promote my book when you don't even understand the genre I'm writing. How would you help me with my target audience? And she's like, oh, so you're judging me. And I'm like, I didn't take that as a judgment. I took it as a preference. I prefer to work with someone who understands my genre. And if you don't understand the first part, I don't understand how you're gonna help me. And she's like, well, your genre fits in fiction. Yeah, I said urban fiction. <laughs> I literally said that. But the main, the main part is urban. And if you don't understand that part, we don't need to work together. She was so upset. I didn't even respond, but it's like, oh my gosh. So then I started looking at different companies and things. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It says it's like a thousand to five thousand dollars to publish a book. Bitch! <laughs> what is it? I'm gonna have to dig deep, deep in that pocket. I'm like, it's gonna have to be the best book of my life if I'm about to spend five thousand dollars to publish it. <coughs> I'm nervous. I've already thought I wasn't a good writer to so to spend that type of money on a book when you already don't think this is even your your your, your niche. Your, your, when you don't even think this is your little your little thing, that's a lot. I can't even say you should believe in yourself. I can't believe in something that I just. Uh, this might be an unpublished book, but I'm gonna write the hoe. <laughs> I went to go through my little books that I've started writing like years ago and just never finished to see which book that I would have an interest of picking up on. And I think I found one. Um, I need to like add some things to kind of spice it up just a tad bit because I feel like it could be better. But for the most part, I think it's a good storyline and I was off to a good start. So I think I might have found something that that I can work with but yeah like I said y'all I'm about to go get me some Einstein bag uh, a bagel I'm about to get me a bagel and some coffee and 
Knock out this lovely Wednesday. Ooh. Ooh. So this is the set that I decided to do for Saturday. They're so freaking cute. Is it blurry? Y'all, can y'all see the... Oh girl, she is looking rough. Y'all, I literally just woke up, but good morning. Happy Friday, you guys. So I did this hand yesterday, last night, and I'm gonna do this hand today. I'm so nervous about doing this hand, but obviously we gotta do it. Y'all, I'm looking for my own eyebrow pencil. So I'm about to do my makeup or whatever. But y'all, this weekend, not this weekend. Well, yeah, this weekend is already like starting to be a little bit challenging. And we haven't even filmed the first episode. So the first little hurdle is Aisha doesn't have school this week because next week is Thanksgiving. And then gave her like a break out of school. So that's the one i just found that out so i'm like okay i don't know how i'm gonna plan this whole little idea and then two my supervisor i told you guys that she's no longer like my old supervisor she's no longer going to be my supervisor so i'm getting a new supervisor and she's having a party for her daughter this weekend that her wife said you need to invite Darnisha to and she needs to bring her girlfriend so and no is not an option. She said I can't say no and that I can't go. So it doesn't matter that I already got other things that I need to do. I got to be at this party. <laughs> and I have so much to do. So I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. So it's throwing a wrench in this. This first episode. So I'm a tad bit nervous. Like really really nervous on like how I'm a create this episode and make it good but anyway i'm gonna do my eyebrows i'm not gonna talk to y'all while i do my makeup so i'm gonna do my eyebrows and then i see y'all when my makeup is done but today is gonna be the wrap up of this of this weekly vlog because it's friday and the weekend we're gonna do the episode so i'll finish it off like getting the finishing touches y'all can see like or do I vlog even behind the scenes? Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I'll probably vlog today of me getting like the last little, the last um, stuff or whatever. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do today. And then I'm going to end the vlog. And then y'all should have already saw the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Okay, this is today's outfit. I paired this Shein shirt. This shirt is so cute. I actually had a look that I had wanted to do with this. It was like a green little eyeshadow look that I thought would have been so cute. But obviously we didn't do that today. My Fashion Nova jeans and I just put these Tims on because I don't really feel like finding shoes and I'm running late, so. Okay, y'all. So this is what the face is giving today. She is giving. I haven't done this look in a while, but every time I do this look, I really love my eyeshadow. I was going to do something a little cute today, like cuter, but I was like, girl, you ain't got time. I'm already like, well, I'm not late. Like, I'm fine, but I was late to dropping off Keontae. But this is my off week, so I'm off duty. Off duty. He just, I had to take him to go get breakfast. And he claims he doesn't like eggs, right? But he eats the McDonald's breakfast burritos all the time, which has eggs. So I'm like, Pooh, do you want the McDonald's? And we don't really eat McDonald's no more. But I was like, Pooh, you want breakfast? Because that's like McDonald's. I was like, Pooh, you want McDonald's breakfast? Because that's like the fastest thing that I can give him right now so that he can eat. Like, that's the only thing I can do for him right now so that he can at least eat something. And he don't like sausage. He doesn't like the egg that's in those, like, sausage patties or, like, the McMuffins. He don't like that. They got the bacon one, but, again, it has egg. I'm not paying. Mm -mm. Ain't doing it. Ain't doing it. So, I'm like, who? Like, you know, let's just do the little breakfast burritos. And he's like, oh, I don't like eggs. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. You've never liked egg, but you always eat the burritos. And he was like, I don't eat those anymore. I haven't eaten those since I stopped liking eggs. And I'm like, no, we used to literally talk crap about you. 
because he would eat the burritos with egg in it but didn't eat eggs and we would literally ask him how are you eating burritos with egg but you don't like egg and he's like I don't remember this kid doesn't remember anything you say to him like it's always like I didn't say that I didn't say that like I don't know what he got going on but he is too young to be so freaking forgetful like he doesn't remember anything like oh, I don't remember saying that like oh my gosh you literally just said this today I can't have a conversation with him it's so annoying because he's like I don't think I said that like you really did say that I'm gonna have to start recording him but y'all I just found out that taking the freaking freeway is like out the way but it's literally faster for me to get to work like it was taking me 30 minutes to get to work and I was like let me try the freeway it's say 15 minutes I'm gonna get to work in 15 minutes so why wouldn't you offer me the freeway if it's only gonna take me 15 minutes to get there what I'm a little bit confused on is that the time said 30 minutes and it said I was gonna get there at 8 33 so something wasn't adding up because right now it's at 15 minutes and I'm gonna get there at 8 30 and it's 8 15 so I'm not really sure that wasn't really the math wasn't math then but nonetheless the freeway is faster and I'm gonna start hopping my little black ass on this freeway to head to work anyway y'all I'm about to head to work like I said I low-key have wish I would have started the series like right now because I I could have done something of like going into the office but I might do that on my next episode of like having to go into the office and go into the office when nobody is there like show up on a Saturday just to record content opposed to having a real real work day so I might do that at my next episode because I didn't know what direction I was going in on my my next episode but I think it's going to be going into the office like going into the office I don't really know the whole scene yet but I wish I'd have brought my book. I need to write my thoughts down. Anyway, let me stop talking to y'all. Y'all, this video is probably going to be so long because I've been talking so much in this video, which is freaking crazy. So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all when I get off of work and we go buy the stuff for our episode. I just need to get a lot of balloons and what else do I need to get? I think I just need to get balloons. I think so. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Y'all, I am so annoying. Like, I say this all the time. I be so annoyed myself. But anyway, it is lunchtime. I came home to fix my little makeup. And I thought my little makeup pack was up here. But it's not. It must be downstairs. I don't know what I did with my lashes, but they're irritating, they're irritating the heck out of me. But y'all, why your girl, why your girl be planning so much? So, y'all know the whole little backstory on what we're supposed to be doing this Saturday. I forgot that me and Aisha wanted to do this event months and months ago it's like an alice in wonderland find alice I ca i'm calling it blues clues okay you gotta find clues i don't know what you gotta do but we gotta do that tomorrow so one we have an early early morning like a seminar to do i don't know if we're gonna do the seminar because it's the same day as the event i forgot so i just scheduled two events on the same day like the 19th must be special okay because it's a lot going on on the 19th okay so there's a seminar seminar we're supposed to go to. Not sure we're going to go there yet. Might still go just for the purpose of the content because it might just like help with the content. And I'm like, we could probably do the little Alice in Wonderland thing and just call it like a little date or whatever. Like, I feel like I just got to switch up this whole little thing that I had going on. And then maybe I can finesse some stuff on Sunday and then just, y'all. If y'all watched it and y'all saw how your girl put it together, then y'all i am home i am home i am an oily hot ass mess but your girl is back home okay and i turned on this camera because i was like let, i gotta tell y'all what just happened to me so let me show y'all what i got first of all i got these balloons i got 20 balloons that i'm gonna just kind of put i'm gonna spread that out 
I'm going to spread that throughout the room. I'm trying to decide if I want to like make it like cute little messages or something on there. But I'm going to decorate the room with the balloons. And then I want the balloons to be kind of like all over the floor. So I bought this electric balloon inflator. Hopefully this works. I got nails on so hopefully it don't take too long to inflate. So I got some balloons. I got, we already got rose petals and I'm going to put the rose petals all around. And then I'm going to come home. I thought these gift boxes were so cute and it's from Santa. And then I'm going to put my dress in there and the money in there for my bag. But anyway, I left Walmart, right? And I was backing out. I was backing up first. And I see a truck to the left of me. He was backing out as well. And he wasn't stopping. He wasn't pulling on the brakes. And I wasn't stopping either. Because I'm like, I was backing out first. So he backs up. He has a big ass truck. And he, he slants his car so that I can't go. Because I'm trying to go this direction. He's coming this direction. So he slants his car so I can't go. Petty. And so, at this point, I'm stuck. Like, I can't. And there's a lady that just, like, backed in. So, her kids are in the parking space that I was just in. So, I can't even move forward even if I wanted to. But I didn't. But her kids is in the front. So, I wait for them to go. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me just back out. I hear him talking shit. Like, I literally hear this man talking shit. Like, what the fuck is you doing, you stupid bitch? I wrote on the window and I'm like, what are you mad for? He was like, hurry up and move you. He was calling me the N word with the ER on it. Okay. I was like, so now you're going to wait even longer because I'm going to back out. I'm going to block you and then I'm going to go this direction because like, there's no reason for that. Like, why are you so upset? He's like, I'm not even that. I'm not upset. And I'm like, you got to be because you're literally calling me racial slurs when I backed out of this parking spot first, but you trying to beat me out of the parking spot and didn't succeed, and now you're mad. This man, I ain't gonna lie, his truck was nice as fuck. He had a big ass F-150 grilled out. It, it was, The truck was doing the most. But the crazy part is, it's like he over here calling me racial slurs, and he's literally looking like Paul Wall. Paul Wall, whatever he is. He literally looking like a little a white boy rapper. Like, dude, you got golds in your mouth. A fitted hat. Like, you look like you are trying to adapt a black person's style. But you, you mad because you ain't us? Like, what is the issue here? You mad? You mad, sir? You big mad. But anyway, y'all, so that's what just happened to me. I was like, I got to tell y'all what just happened to me. But anyway, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and decorate the room for our character tomorrow because, I mean, the show must go on. I'm hoping this works and it inflates our balloons. I'm so nervous. If this hoe don't work, I'm taking her back. I still might take her back because this shit cost me $30. Oh, my gosh. I got to clean up. I still got to do my nails. I am stressed. I am stressed, 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 stressed. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like once I'm done. Oh, y'all, put my hair up. I'm about to go take this freaking makeup off because I look a freaking mess. Y'all, this balloon inflator is the truth. Like, it was taking me a little bit longer because of these, but I literally... Filled up all these little balloons and then have to blow them up. This is my little ghetto sign that says, be my girlfriend. And then I'm about to spread these balloons out. Then y'all will have to watch the episode to see like the full transformation and how it goes. I really feel like I should just do a behind the scenes, like the behind the scenes of the series and then um air the episodes like i feel like that would be better like 
just getting y'all like hype and excited for the episode and then premiere the episode and it's like oh can't wait to see the episode y'all let me know which order should we do it should we do the episode first and then do the behind the scenes or do this part first like the behind the scenes and then air the episode because i feel like i should just be like doing like sneak peeks and then y'all see the full episode but for the first video i might I don't know how I'm gonna do it, y'all. I really do not. Y'all just y'all know it's all brand new, but it's giving real cute. It's giving real cute. I'm so excited. And I changed how oh, I just changed everything. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog officially, y'all. I'm gonna officially end this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the behind the scenes of my fabricated life. Please, please, please leave comments. Let me know how you feel about the video. Let me know how you feel about the series. Like I said earlier in this this video or this vlog, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna continue to do these videos, but this will be the last video until January. So I won't see y'all until next year. But if you want to keep up with your girl, just follow me on Instagram at I am Nisha. Until then, I'll see y'all next year. Bye.